Let's take a look at the chip and chase. It is important to understand when to use a chip and chase because too many players these days simply kick the ball away. Our first option would always be to take the ball into contact and recycle. However, situations arise where the chip kick can be beneficial. When you have one defender to beat, when there is some space behind the defensive line, or when there's no more real estate. We're going to cover two techniques for this skill. Here is the chip kick over a defender. In terms of technique, make your decision and communicate to your teammates. Then judge the distance between yourself and the defender and adjust your speed. Shift your weight onto your plant foot and hold the ball at an off vertical axis, slightly slanting backwards. Bring your kicking foot underneath the ball and strike at the bottom point to generate height and backspin. Keep your eyes on the ball, pass the defender and regather. Here's how it's done. Judge the distance between you and the defender and adjust your speed. Then shift your weight onto your plant foot, holding the ball at a slightly off vertical axis. Make contact with the bottom point of the ball. This generates height and backspin to clear the defender. Pass the defender and keep your eyes on the ball and regather. Here's how it looks in point of view. And now for the grubber technique. We can either employ a grubber to personally regather or for a teammate to chase. Start by manoeuvring your body and sight the space you want to grubber the ball into. Shift your body weight onto your plant foot and hold the ball palm down and guide it onto your foot. The ball should be at a horizontal angle and strike it at the rear, allowing for a tumble effect. Brush past the defender, keep your eyes on the ball and regather. Here's how it's done. Maneuver your body and sight the target. Shift your body weight onto your plant foot and hold the ball at a horizontal angle. Strike the ball towards the rear to allow for a tumble effect. Brush past the defender, keeping your eyes on the ball and regather. And now from point of view. In summary, when thinking about a chip and chase, decide early on which technique best suits your situation. Get your body into position and distribute your weight accordingly. Get the ball placement right depending on which style you employ. Get it wrong and things could turn ugly. Striking the ball is the most important part. You need to practice this above all else. And finally, the purpose of the chip and chase is to regather the ball, so make sure you control the distance on it. Well that's all for the chip and chase, we'll see you for our next skill video soon, cheers.